Wonderful people of the living God, welcome. I have another takeaway for you today and I believe the Lord wants to do something spectacular for you this week. You know what? It's going to be a week of healing of the waters for you. Waters that have become rancid, waters of sorrow, waters of pain, waters of shame, waters of disgrace, they are receiving healing this brand new week. And my scripture, as you will suspect, is from the book of Second Kings, Second Kings chapter number 2, and I will read verse 21. Verse 21, I will back off a bit, I'll tell you the short story, and we will all be, like Americans say, honky-dory. Second Kings 2, 21. And he went forth unto the spring of the waters, and cast the salt in there, and said, Thus said the Lord, I have healed these waters. There shall no more from hence any more death or barrenness. That is the word of the Lord. And if you wanted me to add verse 22, so, so, the waters were healed unto this very day according to the saying of Elisha, which he spake. What I need you to see here is Elisha had just taken over from Elijah. And he had come to the Jordan, he had brought out the mantle of Elijah and said, where is the God of Elijah? And then as he came into Jericho, people came and met him, man of God. You know the situation of this city. That this city is pleasant, as my Lord can see. But the water is not, and the ground is barren. There are many of us who carry beauty. It's only for showmanship. Our houses are beautiful. We ride flashy cars. We are just so good with externalities. But deep on our inside, the get the get that are on the inside, Nobody else should see them. Things that you cannot share. You know that the waters are barren. But today, God wants to put an end to all of that. All of the waters that are not running well, they are running deep, but they are not running well. God wants to heal all of them today. And that's why he sent me to you, that your waters may be healed. Not just for a moment, not just for two hours, not for ten days, not for ten years, for the rest of your life your waters will be healed. We're going to pray together shortly, but I want you to doubt your doubt and believe God for what he will do for you this brand new week. All your waters, all your waters are healed. There are many who have an appearance. They, they look beautiful on the outside, but what they are going through, oh my world, they cannot share. It's so tough for them. But when people see them outside, they think everything is fantastic but deep under the cloth. Many of them are like Naaman. Naaman, a man of great valor, great man. But outside of his uniform, he was carrying leprosy around. Whatsoever it is that is the downside of your life, the Lord wants to bring healing to them today. Because like Elisha declared, Thou said the Lord, I have healed these waters, there shall not henceforth be any more death or barren in the land. That's what God will do for you this new week. Barrenness is over. Your death is over for you in the mighty name of Jesus. And it's going to be well with you this week. The Lord has brought healing to your door this morning. It's beautiful. Wonderful week as you enter into it. Your waters are healed. Waters of pain. Waters of shame, waters of delay, waters of anguish of soul and of spirit, waters of poverty, waters of sickness. Healing has come to your door today. If you don't mind, we're going to bow and pray together so I can announce God's word to your situation. Let's pray together. Righteous Father, I've just told them your word. I enter into the office of Elisha. And I say, those say in the Lord, these waters are healed. Henceforth, there will be no more barrenness or death in the mighty name of Jesus. 
Every word that is not, I speak healing to them by the blood of the Lamb of God. Father, thank you for hearing. Your waters are healed. And God's name is glorified forever. Amen. Amen. I know you like that. I want you to trust God and believe him for his word. As he has said it, your waters are healed and they are healed forever. I'll be with you again next week as I bring a new one as the Lord will place in my heart. And I ask the Lord to bless and to keep you. And I say bye-bye.